All right, everybody. Uh, my name is Fausto from Cybertrain University. Thanks, everybody, for coming here. Uh, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, regarding about iceberg orders. What are they? What makes these stocks go up and go down? Um, just really quick, I'm going to get right into it. And we're going to have, a, I'm going to ask a lot of questions. So please, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask them as we're actually doing a presentation. But um, just let you know what's going on right now in the market and show you right here. We got going on here. Hopefully we can follow my little dot. So there's a couple of big stocks that are making some big moves. Okay. And here was one stock today that had not only a good day trading move, but it also had a good swing trading move. And you could see it right here. You could see this stock. Let me zoom in over here what happened the last couple of days. So this is what we're going to look at. Here's a stock that went from $2.60 and and in the matter of a week, it ran all the way up to about 8.30, right? Today, you could see it as a day trade, it went from 6.80. And in a matter of 30 minutes, it ran to 8.50. Now, if you do simple math, if it just went from $7 to $8, which is half of that, you made a dollar. A dollar is $1,000 a day on 1,000 shares, a quarter million dollar salary. Now, your question is, oh, easy said and done, Fausto. How would you know what it went up, how you went down? Well, that's what we're going to learn. And here's a little basic basic little test and taste of what we're looking at. So we're going to show you a little bit of what's called iceberg orders. And what are iceberg orders is what you see right here. So basically, we have a heat map. And you're going to get, you have orders, you see these little red, orange lines, and you see them here on top, you see in the bottom, you see black lines. Over here on the right, where it says COB, that means current order book. We're going to show you how to read the future. The future is, where are the orders out there? Where are the algorithms? Where are all the um, institutions placing their limit orders on the bid and on the offer? That's what we're going to focus on. And that's what's going to teach you guys how to be a big trader. So we got a lot of stuff to carry. We're going to talk about an hour. I could just tell you this. Please stick around to the end because I'm going to give everyone access to come and watch us do this live in the market uh, and, you know, and see if it actually, if we practice what we preach, really works. So let me just move this over and let me just get back to my PowerPoint and uh, kind of go into the trading a little bit here. So basically, before we get started, just quick little risk disclaimer, just um, I'm not going to make any guarantees or promises, you know, this ranges from student to student, just please be very smart. And, you know, before you go out there and trade, uh, you know what you're investing into, because there is a high risk in, in trading. Now, this is what we're going to learn a little bit. We're going to talk about what makes stocks tradable, what makes them non-tradable. We're going to talk about level three quotes, the ECN book. We're going to talk a little bit about reading the tape. I'm a tape reader, which actually shows you how to find these stocks and if they're moving or not due to their volatility and the best uh, progress as a full-time or even a part-time trader, what you want to be. So I've been doing it. Now, before we do that, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I've been doing this for over 30 years. I travel around the world. Um, this, is this, this is a picture of me. I was just there yesterday at the NASDAQ. Um, I'm featured at NASDAQ talking about how to trade on something called their book viewer and how it works and how to trade on it. And you're going to see that a lot of you have been trading blind over the years. I've also been featured on a lot of the financial stations all over the world. And you know what? I love doing it because I hate seeing people lose money. I'm also an author of the book, How to Beat Market Makers at Their Own Game. What is a market maker? That's a trader at a brokerage firm. How do I know that? Because I was one of them and I'm here to pass it to you, that knowledge. And what I'm going to do at the end of this presentation, I'm going to give every one of you a copy of that book for free. Yes. Why would I do that? How do I make money on it? Because if you know how you, if you're knowledgeable, we're going to all make money together. And um, just to also tell you a little history about what, what traders are. You know, I started back in the early nineties, Forbes magazine wrote an article on us, a bunch of kids tormenting wall street. You can see I'm not a kid anymore, but um how I learned and how I became very famous in this industry is um, I'm first generation Italian. My parents came here for a better life. And my dad always taught me and said, listen, son, if you want to be good at something, you got to surround yourself with people that know what they do every day. OK, you got to surround yourself with the people that are that are good at it and try to stop doing this on your on your own. Now, 
being a 22 year old kid, <laughs> I was a little ignorant. I didn't listen to my dad. I says, ah, let me go out and do it myself. You know what? Let me go. Let me try it and see if I like it. And then if I do, then I'll learn from someone else. Well, that didn't work out too well. And I know that some of you probably could say the same thing. You tried it and things didn't work out too well. And now, now, now you're here listening to us. Um, it's a lot easier to have someone that knows what they're doing, that has a very good reputation and, you know, basically, uh, it does this for a long time and will teach you not how to make money, but how to stop losing it. And that's, what we're going to focus on now. I could say I have two wonderful families and what made my, uh, having two great families is that, you know, I have my day family and I have my night family and I hope to make, make you part of those people, uh, people too. Now, um, Let's just now let me just stop talking about myself and what I've accomplished and what I, hopefully I'm going to make you all you all good traders is how do how do we trade? What is the style? What what is it what you do and how do we know what's real and not real? Well, let me do a quick uh, little uh, poll right here and just if everyone could just tell me in the chat room, could you tell me like how long everyone here has been trading for? Have you been doing this for a year, three years, 10 years, just started? Just put it in the chat. You know, let me, I want to hear what everyone has to say. Michael, you've been doing it for 10 years. Okay. Anyone else? Ajit, over 10, 10, four, brand new, Josh. Okay. Jerry, about a year. Okay. Now, as, as all of you are answering that question, the next question is that I have for everybody is this Are you really making money? I mean, uh, and nobody can read anyone's chat. Yes, no, a little bit, breaking even. How how are you doing in the market? Not doing well, Rob. Okay. Not really making money, holding on the line right now, Paul. Well, that's good. Listen, you're still here, so you didn't blow up your account. Win some, lose some. Okay. Dennis, haven't started yet. Jerry's been losing. All right. So... Listen, that's why I guess most of you are here. Listen, if you're in great shape, you don't have to go to the doctor other than the physical, right? If you if you're trading and you you know, listen, great traders also never stop learning. But this is what I want you to do. Does everybody have their phone? Turn on the camera. And what I'm gonna do right now is I want to give everyone a little head start. Um, I want to give everyone access to my trading room, which is about one week, okay? And that one week trading room, everything we're going to talk about in the next 45 minutes, you're going to see this for a whole week. And I'm going to give you videos and I'm going to give you, you know, lessons and all, and you can even talk to me on the phone. Okay. How about that? Because what I'm looking for today is I'm looking to recruit traders that I could train that, that want to do this as a career that I can make money with. Now, why am I doing that is because I'm always training people. I have students that open up their own schools. I have people that eventually move on. So we're always looking to recruit new traders. So if you want to get a head start before everybody else does, here's your chance to do it. Just take that kit scanner and move it. All right. So let's talk about a couple of things really quick. All right. So regarding about the market, listen, I was sitting, you know, with some of the most smartest minds uh, yesterday at NASDAQ on, uh, on their show. And, you know, one of the big things when I was at last time, I mentioned that we had a great fourth quarter. OK, the Nasdaq uh, has probably been hasn't been hasn't moved this much in several years. So, you know, just and, and not only that, but just take a look at some of the trades that we had that were going on. Affirm was one of them. Look at this stock in one day. It ran from 27 to 30. Then the next day, it ran from 29 to 31. Then look at this. Then it runs from 31 to 33. I mean, look at the movement. You probably never even heard of a firm. You probably did. But your question is, wow, that's a hell of a move. Now, remember what I told you. You don't need a lot to make a killing on it. That's all you have to do. But look at that big move on just that stock alone today. GameStop, another one. Okay. Stock goes from 15 to 17 in about an hour. If you only got 20% of that move, guess what? You made your day's pay. You probably never thought about trading GameStop. Or maybe how about this stock, RDHL? This one's even better, less expensive. Stock goes from $2 to $4. Now, you're probably asking me, well, I never heard of this stock before. I only I only trade the Fabulous 7, you know, the Intel, I mean, the, the, the Googles, the Apples, the, the, the NVIDIAs. Listen, at the end of the day, money's money. 
We're not here to discriminate. That, that, that stock that I can make just as much as this, I could make on someone else. But everybody out there wants to trade. Oh, I want to trade. What's NVIDIA doing? Oh, well, what's Apple doing? Oh, what's Tesla doing? You know, and I know right off the bat, everyone's going to ask me that question. We get to the end. Because when I start showing you how these things go up and down, you're like, could you do me a favor? Could you look at this stock? And you're going to see that you've been trading blind your whole life. And you have made yourself trade stocks that are so extremely risky that I would never trade. Because it's all about risk to reward. Because when you find a stock like VVOS in one day and it goes from four dollars to twenty, you know, and then it goes from twenty to fifty, does it matter? Did it even care? But this is what was just happening in the past week. Now, the big thing people always ask is like, Fausto, I watch you on YouTube. Which, by the way, any of you guys watch me um live in the morning at nine a.m. Eastern on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter? We broadcast live every morning. We're going to post that link. If you're not, you should be subscribed to it. Okay. But if you've been watching it, finding them is easy. That's the easiest part. Everybody, you know what's funny? Everyone wants this. Um, everybody's looking for that, you know, that newsletter. They want everyone to tell them what to buy. First of all, no one has to tell you what to buy and sell. You could figure it out yourself. You just got to go through the big percentage gainers and losers. And you'll see these stocks, 100%, 59%, 40%. You know, and you could short. Look at all those stocks that are down on the day. So there's opportunities everywhere. Now, the question that you're probably asking is, how do you know which one of those are going to give me the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward? Well, we're going to get to that in the next few minutes. But just kind of tell you, a lot of you are neglecting. You see this on your, your execution system, and you probably don't think twice and says, yeah, whatever, wow, 200%, big deal. I'm like, and meanwhile, you say, holy crap, Fausto at Cybertrain University and all his instructors and traders were trading that? Why Why was I stuck in Amazon for? You know? So the big thing that we have to talk about is why these big stocks, uh, you know, why are we buying or selling these stocks, right? And, and the answer is this. It's not the news. It's not about the indicators. It's not a tip from a friend or some fundamental analyst, okay? Because that's why 90% of these people lose money lose it in, in trading, all right? It's all about following the money. That's all it is. Now, my question to everybody here is this. Um, does anyone here have level two quotes? I had a question came in, uh, Andre, at 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. I'm not able to watch due to my job. The, uh, Andreas, don't worry about it. Whatever you miss, we're live, but you could always watch the recording, okay? All right, but um, anyone here have level two? Used to, but not now, Robert, okay? Anyone else? How about you, Dave? I'm in here from you. Dave C., Dennis, Adam, what about you? Alan? No, no. No one here has it, okay. Well, let me explain to you something very important, all right? Remember this, because this is where we're going to go now, because now we're going to take this very seriously. How do stocks go up and go down? Buyers and sellers. That's it. So let me explain to you what we're looking at, and then we're going to go move on and show you how to follow those buyers and sellers. So let me just get my crayons out here really quick and show you something, what we're looking at. So these are buyers these are sellers. Those are the columns, column one and column two. Okay. Everybody here in this column, one, are brokerage firms or an exchange. Second column is the price that they want to buy it for. And the third column is how many shares. Everything there is multiplied by 100. Now, whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to buy for less money is down at the bottom. So what you're looking at right here is just buyers and at what they want to buy it for and at what price. Now, to get to some of your question that some of you why you don't use it anymore, as I could tell you why I don't use it anymore. It's been outdated since the 90s. It's not doesn't give you as much data as it should, but it does still serve a purpose in trading. Okay. And we'll we'll talk a little bit more about that. Now let me uh let me just clear this out and move on. So my next question is to you is this.
Does anybody here have total view? NASDAQ total view. I like to call it level three. Anybody here have it? Robert, you don't have it? Josh, no. Anyone else? Davey, you did, but you just got disabled. One person here that has it. Plan on getting it. Okay. Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. And then let me show you how we use it. And I'll tell you how to get it. Okay. Now, what we're looking here is this. We got buyers and we got sellers. You got support levels and you got resistance levels. What you're looking at right here is a seat on the exchange. What in the hell does that mean? It means exactly what I said it means. You have a seat on the exchange. You're going to see every buyer and every seller around the entire world of a stock that you're trading in and at every single price. Once again, just keeping it black and white. Buyers control the stock to go up. Sellers control the stock to go down. And you need to know where those buyers and sellers are. And who are those buyers? Institutions like BlackRock, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, algorithms, you know, um, high frequency trading. That's what it's all about. Now, let's put it to the basically how we utilize it. You're probably looking at this data. You'd be like, you know, Fouts, it's a lot of numbers. It's kind of hard to see it. I don't, I don't get what I see. Well, I'll tell you what you need to see. 90% of it that's in there, you don't need to see it. It's a distraction. I don't care about the 100 share buyers or the 10 share sellers. What I do care about is this buyer down here for 27,000, okay? Because when a stock goes up and you want to know where it's going to stop, what makes a stock stop from going lower is a buyer. What makes a stock stop going higher are sellers. So you could see right here that when this stock was up here at 37.20 and it started going back down and it decided to stop at this 35, 36.50, the only reason why it stopped there is not because of Fausto said so, or you said so, or Kramer said on TV, or some analyst or some indicator. It was because out of all these buyers out here, the 100, the 200, the 400, the 27,000 share buyer, which is probably about 200 times more the average of any price out there, made that stock stop going lower. Now, I'm going to repeat this a thousand times. How much better and smarter trades would you have made if you knew that there was a big block order looking to be bought at that price, okay? Knowing that you were coming to a support level and knowing that that buyer was there but that made that support. That's what trading is all about. Now, let's look at another example. Let's look at a, poten a, poten a potential resistance level. Here we have a stock that we've been trading. It's been moving pretty nice. I don't know if anyone saw Robinhood, uh, symbol H-O-O-D. We've been moving up pretty nicely. Um, but the question is, when do we get out? When do we sell it? Well, you could see here that it had a really nice move from 880 and in a matter of, I don't know, 30 minutes, it finally decided to hit a plateau around this $9.20 price range. Now, why is that? Well, what makes a stock go down is sellers. Sellers make resistance. That Resistance means it's resisting it from going higher. Well, the only way to find those resistance levels and those sellers is if you go to the book viewer and you look at the sell column, you'll notice right down here at $9.17, you got 37,000 share seller. Now you got 6,000s, 2,000s, 500, but you're talking 37,000, all right, sitting there at $9.17. Do you think you want to still own a stock? whatever amount of shares you trade, 100, 300, I don't know, knowing that you're going up against a 34,000 share seller out there, which is probably five to 10 to 20 times more than any other order out there. Robert, very well said. You know what Robert said? Hell no. Exactly. But how many of you are doing that? How many of you are seeing that? Not very many. Let's go over a couple of more examples, Okay. Let's look at this stock right here, DVGI, whatever. 
you know, but what does a trend of the stock look like to you? What does this look like to you, everyone? Is it going up? Is it going down? I'm asking dumb questions. I want dumb answers because you're going to really how, then you're going to realize how dumb you were and don't take that in a, in a bad way that how did you not know that? <laughs> okay. It's going down, right? Could everybody say that? Damon, I didn't hear from you. I don't know what you're doing. Ladies, don't, don't let me start calling people out. Listen, I am here to help you, okay? If you don't answer, then that means you don't understand. And if you don't understand, you shouldn't be trading. And please, don't I'm a, don't take this. I'm a little brash. I just hate seeing people lose money, okay? I've been doing this for way too long, and it's very bad for the industry, all right? So the stock is going down. Okay, great. Now, this is the next question I have for everybody. You ever own a stock and it's going down and you're like, my God, what do I do? What, what do you, what do you, if you own a stock, everybody, and I have a question, because this is basically going to help answer what we're going to move forward to. If you were losing money in a stock, stock's going down. What do you do? What, what is your game plan? Do you buy more average down? Do you call 911? I don't know. What do you speak to your wife? Hey, honey, I'm losing money in a stock. What should I do? She should probably kill you. <laughs> Number one, she's like, what are you doing? What do you do? You buy puts, okay. Get out right away. Cover with a short call, Jason saying. <laughs> How, every one of you are answering the, the question completely wrong, okay? Your question that you have to be asking yourself is, okay, I'm losing money. It's part of the game. Where are the buyers? Okay. Where are, the, are they at zero? Are they at $4, $3? Where are the buyers? What covering, Jason, covering with a short call? Are you kidding me? I mean, but how do you know it's, what happens? There's a 10,000, a, a, a million share buyer of 420. Now you're going to lose your cover call. On a walk, okay? You got to look where the orders are, all right? So let's go look over here on NASDAQ Book Viewer. Where's our buyer? $4, 71000 Do I need to explain anything more? Because look what happened when it got to that $4. It hit it, it went up. It hit it, it went up. Did you need to, to make a covered call? Did you need to average down, Mike? Did you need to put a stop order bill? It's all about the orders. And how could you have known that? By following this. All right. Um, let's talk about another one. Let's talk about American Airlines. Okay. So let's look at American Airlines. Now, without even, you know, getting to the chart of the stock, can anyone here tell me, just out of curiosity, where you think you're going to hit a resistance level. Where do you think you're going to hit a resistance level if you were here looking just at the book viewer? Well, Robert, it's exactly right. Robert's saying would have been good for risk management. That's 90% that's of the battle is the risk management. But everyone, should, I want to see if everybody can answer this question. So, Manuel, Phil, Lindsay, Robert, Jerry. I think everybody here, Andreas, everyone here is correct. You all said the same answer. You all said 1290 because there's a 600,000 share seller out there. So, so are you telling me what is more powerful? That 600,000 share seller at 1290 or some Fibonacci? out there because when we look at a chart it doesn't look like it's going down it actually looks like it's going up somebody may even say oh this is a bull flag this is definitely going higher yeah well it didn't work out too well when it got to that price because if you didn't know he was out there and you did get suckered in buying into it and you want to know why that's your answer because how many times have you bought a stock and as soon as you bought it, the damn thing goes down. And how many times have you sold it? And the damn thing went up. And you think, 
And probably till the today, you probably still think that someone's watching you. Let me tell you something. Nobody's watching you. You are not watching them. That is your problem. Okay? So think about it. How much smarter and better trading decisions if you were able to know that you were in a position that you had a profit in and knowing you will come up to a 600,000 share seller right in front of you. And yes, by the way, Mike, yes, that is a real order. Okay? And the NASDAQ will never let you put an order out there that's fake. Okay? Um, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. Okay. Uh, and I, and I knew someone was going to bring that up. Robert goes, does this work for the QQQs and the spies? First of all, yes, it does. And secondly, why are you trading the spies? Why are you not trading stocks like ALT or that that's up, you know, uh, the, or SVDX that's up a hundred percent or, you know, SD, uh, SLDB that's up, you know, 54%. I, I, is the S&P 500 up 54% today? Or you have to trade the QQQs because the QQQs, you know what I mean? Like, you can you make money with them? Sure, but it's all about risk to reward. Remember, you do you understand what the definition of business is? This is a business. The definition of business is making money, okay? You're not going to go work for somebody, you know, 10 hours a day and make $10 an hour. I'd rather work for somebody an hour a day and get paid $1,000 an hour. But because that $10 an hour, well, you understand, you know, that, that's a good company. Okay, well, great. That's nice. I still rather work for an hour and make the $1,000, if you know what I mean. So that's all a misconception. Now, these are what we call iceberg orders. These are big block orders. Um, I, I came up with that word after watching the movie Titanic. I mean, I assume everybody knows the story about the Titanic. It's a terrible story. But everybody's always focused on the top. They never focus on the bottom because they don't have the technology. They didn't go out there and were taught this. And you know what? You want to end up like the Titanic. Now, this is a tip for new traders. All right. If you want to be very successful, you got to follow the money. Okay. And NASDAQ Book Viewer is one of them. Now, um, who here would like to get NASDAQ Book Viewer? Because when I started, it cost me $1,000 a month. Today, it costs $15. So I'm going to put my email address here. Hold on. So I'm going to put in the chat room, Fausto P. Hold on. F-A-U-S-T-O. So I want you guys to send me an email. If you're interested in this, okay, I'll tell you where to get it. Um, because the thing is, I, I I don't want to give you the link. I'd rather you watch a couple of videos, how to set it up first, because you'll probably make more harm than good. Okay, that's the reason why we do that. So for everybody here, just take my email. And personally, why would you not want this? Why would you not want to know a stock that you're in, knowing where all the big players are? And if you really, and if you don't think that's important, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you my little advice. You should quit trading. You really should. Because I had to learn the hard way at 22 years old. And I know we don't have too many 22 year olds sitting here or 15 or 18 year olds. I think a lot of people have been doing this for a while. And that's, um, I think you're starting to realize like, you know what, it kind of makes sense. Maybe I should know how to read the future. Okay. Stocks like, oh, maybe you are an AMD. Maybe I should know who's pushing it up. This is where it comes down to it. So I would expect every single one of you in here to take my email address and email me right now. And says, and all you have to say is book viewer. Just say, just could send me the link. That's all I ask. All right. Now let's go to, now let me tell you if you think this is pretty interesting, wait till I show you level four. Because there are three different levels, one, two, three, four. So we were just finishing up on level three. There is such thing of a level four. Now you're like, wait a minute. Damn, there's something better than that? Yes, there is. It does cost more money, but I'm not here to sell anything for you. Okay? But I want you to know there is something there. And what it is, it's a heat map. Okay? Uh, basically, what you're getting is everything on the right, 
which is called current order book. That's the level three. But when you look at level four, you're kind of seeing it more on a chart size. So this is a, a software that basically would tell you where those orders are and how long they've been out there for. So kind of it's easy on the eyes, you know, and because I know some of you here, the first thing would probably discourage you to get into this business is that you probably say, oh, it moves too fast. And I get it. You know, yeah, it does move pretty fast. But when you start moving on a chart, you're like, oh, it doesn't move as fast. So you got to know where the data is coming from and you got to know who's putting that data out there. So let me explain to how we use it. OK, let's go back to a firm. All right. So a firm is going down. You know, we're looking at a drop and it's slightly going down. Now, what do we need for the stock to make it go up? Buyers. And you'll notice that after about 10 o'clock, you had a buyer over here and you had this buyer here for 50,000 shares that showed up at $29.30. So, I mean, he wasn't there earlier, but he's there now. And you could see it when he showed up, the stock skyrocketed. And it ran from 29.20 in a matter of an hour. It went all the way to 3120. Now you could see here that he had his order. He canceled. He probably went out there and said, you know what? The crap with it. I got my limit order out there. When I just hit, when I just go out there and buy it. So that's what happened there. Let's go back to GameStop. GameStop's going up. You see, you got a trend over here. You had the seller sitting out there at 1750. Hold on. Then. Point there out here so you guys can follow along. You can see how that thing is right there. That seller shows up here. Stock goes up nicely. Now we're coming up to this, this 34,000 share seller, right? So what ends up happening? You look at the chart, doesn't show you that buyer. But look what happened when it got up, came up to that buyer. It went from that 1750 all the way down in less than... 30 minutes down to 1640. So here you are coming up to that seller. Seller gets hit, decides, oh, sorry, got to get out, buddy. Not seeing that on the chart. And now, now you convert a winner to maybe a huge, huge loser. All right. So what I want to do right now is, um, do we have any more? Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to do right now is I want to have a little fun with everyone. Okay. Um, I want, I want to give you a little taste of what it's like to join our trading room, because this is what all we're going to invite all of you to see this live in the market. All right. So somebody give me a stock, any stock, and we're going to go out there. I'm going to show you how these things work. Okay. And I'll show you why you've been doing it backwards the whole time. Hold on, there's uh, one stock right here I want to keep an eye on. Hold on. Uh, what is this one right here? Okay. Obviously, ExxonMobil. Obviously, Intel. Obviously, Apple. Obviously, Red, Raytheon. Everyone out there is putting brand name stocks, okay? And I'm going to show you what it looks like to be in a brand name stock. All right. So let me bring up a uh, couple of things right here. Hold on. Hold on right here. All right. So we got, we'll look at Apple. Okay. We have Apple over here. All right, so what is Apple doing today? Can anybody tell me? What's Apple doing? It gone up. Okay, Robert, it went up and it kind of stopped after around like 940 at this like $195 price range, right? Okay. Why did it stop at 195? Why did it stop at 195? Why it's it's what is it? Almost one o'clock right now since nine. What is that? Uh, nine forty-five until now. Is that ten forty-five? Eleven forty-five? Three hours. Three hours. It does not want to go past one ninety-five. Can anybody tell me what? Uh, how about this? 
I'll make it a little bit easier for you. How about we add in a RSI? Uh, how about a Bollinger Band? How about a MACD? Okay. All right. Did that answer your question for you? Anyone? Does that answer your question? Okay. What is everyone telling me? Sellers, sellers, sellers. Okay. You want to see how this works? Right here, when the market opened up, when this stock started this morning and it was at $193, this is called program trading. This seller of how many shares is out there at 195? Can anyone answer it? Let's see if you guys can answer this question. Andreas, you're right. Robert, you're right. Paul, you're right. First of all, 475,000 shares, okay, uh, times $195 is $92 million is looking to be sold at 195. All right, 92 million. And you want to know why the stock is not going past 195? And guess what? If you didn't get out here, when it got close to it, it went right back down to 194. Then it went back to 195. You could have went long, short, long, short, long, short. Stock right now is at 194, uh, 194.30, uh, 194.90. Should we go buy it? What do you think? Should we buy it? I heard Apple's a good stock. What do you think? We should buy it? Yes or no? Look how quick you guys answered that question. Why? For the, for the, the half a million shares scare you? It damn well it should. Not today, Andre is saying. So did I rest my case? Did I rest my case? Because... Did that Bolger band tell you that? Did that MACD tell you that? Now, that's what trading comes down to it. All right. So this is the difference between people being self-taught and people that are learning from true market makers. Okay. Now, if anyone here wants to learn how to trade, this is the way you're supposed to be taught. You're supposed to know how to read these orders. And you got to have the right tools. And if you're not going to do it right, you shouldn't be trading. You shouldn't be trading. Forget about that person sending you that newsletter and telling, hey, look at this one. Look at that one. That's great. I like newsletters. I like to say, okay, maybe the guy's onto something. Maybe he found something. But I'm not going to jump in until I see what the street's doing. Because if he knows about it, everyone else knows about it. And that's the difference between self-taught and learning from the right people. And this is why Cyber Trade University has been endorsed and has been um, featured on more brokerage firms and, and exchanges than any school in the industry. And not only that, this is why we have a five-star rating on Google and we have a great, uh, we have probably the best reputation, you know, in the industry. So this is what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to, um, I'm looking for me to teach you this stuff live in the market. So how many of you here want to see more of this? Great, because you're all going to get access to it. I want to invite all of you guys to come into my trading room, all of you. Okay, and you're going to and, and you don't got to be there all day. You could be there in the morning. You could be there in the afternoon. You could be there in the middle of the day. You could watch a record. You could be there wherever it is. Do you need there to be a, be there for a week? Absolutely not. You realistically only need to be there for I don't know an hour. You know, whatever it is. I pref preferably pick the first hour and the last hour, okay? Uh, Manuel says, can you do this by spotting Forex uh, and currency futures? Yes, you can, Manuel. Absolutely, you could. Absolutely. Probably didn't know that, did you? All right. So, but I specifically trade stocks. All right. Now, this is what you're going to get. We start our live audio broadcasting at 9 a.m. We go up until 10.30. We work about an hour and a half. 
We still trade in the middle of the day. We come back in the afternoon. We continue with the live commentary in the trading room. So this is all online. You don't got to go anywhere. You can also access it on your phone. Okay. You can watch it on your phone if you can't make it. But everybody here will have full access to all this commentary, all this technology, all this training. We also do events with special speakers, other gurus. You know, um, we are constantly doing events, you know, in, in our trading room to help you become a better, smarter, and wiser trader. Now, I started the first trading room in the industry. I don't care what anybody tells you. Um, I've done this over 30 years. When I started, you had to be licensed, okay? You don't have to be licensed anymore. Now everybody, now everybody thinks they're a guru out there. Um, but for being around for 30 years, I think that, you know, kind of says it itself. Now, let's uh, take some questions. But before we do that, um, here's some of the questions that I get that I want to share with you. Does this strategy work with volatile markets? This is all about volatile markets. If you have no volatility in the market, you can't make any money. The things ain't moving, you're not making money. How much money do I need to start? Okay. You need to start with zero. We're not looking you to trade anything. You are only here to watch, okay? Now, I know some of you have accounts already, and you know what? You probably want to know sooner than later, but you don't need anything to start, okay? Um, how does a strategy work for options? Well, to, to any, I know a lot of you here trade options. First of all, how could you be a good options trader if you can't even know what the stock is doing? You know how many strategies are to trade an option? Just like one of you just mentioned earlier, oh, I'll just do a covered call, you know, if that happens. How about this? How about make money with the stock first and then worry about the option? The reason why people trade options is because they think they can't afford the stock. That's the reason why they do that. And they like the shortcut thing. So this is what you have to do. Get your phone, scan that QR code, or click on that link that we got posted up there right now. And I want to give everyone access to my book. I want to give you access to my trading room. I want to give you access to my workshops because I want to prove to all of you that you all need to learn how to do this the right way. And then this will tell you if you should want to continue your career with trading or you want to go back and work at McDonald's, okay? Or go back to whatever you did for a living, you know, your accounting, whatever it may be. I'm kidding about the McDonald's thing. But um, this is everything that you're going to get. The training costs $9. That's it. Now, why am I charging $9? I don't need your $9. The $9 just proves to me that you're a real person or not. That's really what it, it comes down to. And if you want your $9 back at the end of the week, I'll give it, give it back to you. I don't need your $9. And we're not going to charge you anything past that. Listen, you don't want to continue with Cybertrain University. You don't have to continue. By the way, um, remember Apple? Look at the price of Apple where it is right now. one ninety four seventy seven. Remember we got we got close to that high right there? Remember that resistance levels? Look what happened here. Still out there. And when it hit them, it came right back down. These are the things you have to understand. And this is on a brand name stock. Imagine doing it on a nice slow moving stock. So we're gonna go, we're gonna show you these workshops. We're gonna give you Traders Talk Library. And not only that, I'm gonna give one more last bonus, one big bonus. Not only are you gonna get my book, okay, but if you register today, I will take 20 of you and give you a personal coaching class with me. Now, this is the kicker. How many of you guys have taken training before? Have you ever spoken to the owner before when I've been spending a dollar? Well, my thing is, wouldn't you want to know who you're investing in before you go out there and do it with someone? How many of you people felt like, oh, I took a class with someone, it was a waste of money, or it was okay, but... You know, listen, videos don't talk back to you. I talk back to you, okay? Our instructors talk back to you. Our staff talks back to you. So here's your opportunity. Money back guaranteed. You're going to get all, you're going to get my book. You're going to get workshops. You're going to get the trading room, everything for one whole week. All you got to do is start off with $9. And I'll even give you, like I said, it's going to show you how to use Book Viewer. It's going to show you how to use NASDAQ, everything. Now, a couple of questions here. Uh, we'll be available in January as my wife and I undergo surgery next week. Well, uh, hopefully everything works out well for you, Andrea. I hate to hear, hear that. But uh, what I would recommend you to do is buy it now and just tell your 
education advisor via email or call them and tell me you want to start in January because I don't know how long I'm going to keep this promotion for. You know, it's uh, it's been a really big, you know, popular promotion. And you know what? We can't talk to everyone, but lock it in now and move it later. All right. Now, um, just a couple of shout outs really quick because I see a bunch of you guys here registering. Uh, Jerry, I got your registration. Welcome aboard. Josh, I got your regarding about the book viewer. Welcome aboard. Jerry Parker, another one out there. I got your registration. Pontar, I got your registration. Paul, all of you got your registration. Now, listen, it's very important. When you register, um, we ask five questions. Let us know who you're trading with. If you're taking any classes, you know, who your broker is. The more you help us and tell us about you, the better we can help you. The next slide is going to show you, you're going to book your appointment. If you're not sure yet what time or whatever, just book anything. You know, you could always change it later. Okay. But uh, just lock in your time, whatever it is, and try to do it sooner than later. All right. So uh, you'll get that up and running. Any other questions? Uh, I think I answered that question before. Um, do I need money to trade this? No. You know what you need? You need $9. That's what you need. Okay. Listen to me. Look at Apple. There was this big buyer out there all day and none of you even knew that do you know what it's like to see that in tesla do you know what it will look like to see that on nvidia or how about one of these big fast moving stocks that keep running up that you have never even knew existed go out there make a small investment see why cyber Train university it has the best reputation in the industry and why we've been doing this so long because i know a lot of you here want to do it you just didn't find the right person or you just don't know yet. So instead of making a big investment, you know, in trading and in taking someone with someone else. And by the way, if you took it with someone else, that's fine. I preferably like you that you took classes with someone else because then you'll see the difference between why their system doesn't work and this one does. Uh, question. Uh, you haven't read, Adam, Alan, you haven't received the book. Okay, so Alan, email me. And I'll get you my book if you haven't got it. But it's on your dashboard. When you register, the book is already there for you for download. Okay? Uh, David C., uh, can we pick a... And thank you very much. I, I'm glad you've been enjoying uh, enjoying everything in the week program. Uh, David has a question. Can we pick the week and of the trial? Yes, you can. You can pick the week when you want. But listen, it's fresh in your mind. Don't waste any time. Because I know what ends up happening. One week becomes two weeks. Two weeks become next month. You know what I mean? Uh, any other questions? So anyway, listen, I, I'm expecting every single one of you to register. I don't know why you would not register. And I could tell you this. If you think $9 is expensive, try ignorance. Okay? Look how much you didn't know before you stepped in this door. Look how much money you've learned that, and there's so much more to cover. But I can't talk to you for a whole hour. We're going to lose your attention. So I get bored talking that long anyway. I can't talk that long. But I am looking for traders I could train that could do this for a living. All you got to do is take that QR code, scan it, and get into the room. Uh, a couple of questions here. Jerry says, is Matrix uh, and TradeStation the same? Yeah, it is, Jerry. Um, and we actually showcase it in our trading room. I'll show you really quick right here. So you're talking about this one right here. So this is our trading room right now. And the Matrix is right here on the right. These are all instructors right here. And these are all our traders on the left. And you can see, you know, we have our watch list. But yes, that matrix is right there on the right. Okay. Uh, another question comes here. Uh, Alan, what is the minimum a person needs to screen equipment? Okay, so Alan, um, you don't really, listen, if you got into this, whatever you have is perfectly fine. Okay. So you don't need to have all this fancy stuff. You don't need four, six, 10 monitors. Listen, if you can't make more money on one monitor, how the hell are you going to make money on four? Okay. You don't need this crazy gaming stuff. Anything else? All right, a couple of more shout outs really quick over here. Abadip, is that what your name? Uh, from California? I hope I said that. I hope I didn't mangle it because I people mangle up my name. I got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Dennis Davis from Arizona. Got your registration. Welcome aboard. Robert H. from Arizona. Got your registration. Welcome aboard. Winston Lewis, got your registration. Thank you so much. 
Uh, who's this right here? Andreas G. Oh, that's you, Andreas. Where are you from, Andreas? If, uh, try to see. I, I I don't I don't recognize the country. Three little symbol. Were you from uh, Dutch, something like that? Germany. Okay, there you go. All right, good. Thank you very much. A uh, couple other questions. Anyone have any other questions? Guys, it's $9, okay? How much money would you save just by trading Apple if you knew that there was a big order out there? How would you have known of understanding the discipline, the psychology behind it? Stop focusing on the past. Let's stop focusing on the future. Let's start focusing on the tools that we need, all right? Once again, you're not dishing out $1,000, $10,000, $50,000, going to college and try to learn this for, you know, and someone telling you 800 hours of video, let's go out there and learn and learn the basics. All right. Uh, all right. So anyone, yes, but the question that came across here, I missed it. You could just book your appointment. If you want to change it on a different time, you're more than happy to, if you want to start your time day different. But like I said, a lot of you have a fresh in your mind, try to do it now. That's where it comes down to it. All right. Any other questions? All right. So listen, I see some of you are still registering in here. I, well, I appreciate it. Make sure you get your appointments. Listen, if you did not register, I uh, listen, I understand. Maybe it's not the right time. Maybe you don't like the way I talk. Maybe you don't like the way I look. I don't know, whatever it may be. I get it. But let me just tell everyone here. If you want to do this as a career, if you want to learn it, and it's not a full-time job, it's part-time job. You got to learn not from one but from several different people. And you got to find the style that fits in you. And just because you took a class with someone doesn't mean you got to make it work, okay? Listen, we do bad deals all the time. There are times I bought something, I'm like, damn, I wish I never did it. But you know what? I learned from it. Don't make the same mistake. You're here. You saw how it works. You're seeing the value that you're going to get. You're getting all these wonderful things that we're giving you. Um... Not only that, but you're getting the book and not only that, but you're going to get a coaching class with me. So go out there and make that small investment and let's see if we can make you a trader or not. Because like every, like I always say, you got to learn before you can earn. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And look forward to seeing you all in the trading room. Everyone else have a happy holidays.